Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Left 4 Dead 2. We're uh, just going to jump into multiplayer here. I did decide... Oh, we only have one player. That's a bit of a bummer. I did decide that I am going to be recording online people. I did some Googling. I know we talked about this in the last episode. Uh, I did some Googling asking about whether or not you're permitted to record people. Most folks seem to agree that it's technically legal oh no coach can we can we get him yeah we okay i was gonna say i wasn't sure if you can shoot through walls on this or not most people agree that you can legally record someone in a public game lobby it's a bit of a gray area legally and i don't feel comfortable doing it so i've disabled all of voice chat uh although like i said most people seem to agree look at this water by the way it looks terrible I'll save you. Never mind, Nick. I'm terrible. Um, most people seem to agree that it's legal. It still seems like a really shady thing to do. Like it, uh, it it's kind of like. Oh, don't shoot that car. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it, most people, it, it's like if you go out in public and you're having a conversation with someone, you do not have a legal, uh, like reasonable expectation of privacy. My God, that storm is loud. Uh, I do have my effects turned way down, so we can't see the rain. I've been having a lot of recording issues, so I basically disabled everything just to try and keep the, the game running, okay? Definitely, definitely want a better gun than just the Magnum. Can't shoot the, can't shoot the cash register? Okay. Um, you, you don't have a reasonable expectation of privacy in public. Yeah, there was no way that guy was not going to shoot the car. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Don't, don't just leave. I hear tanks. I hear a tank somewhere. Am I imagining things? I thought I heard a tank. Whatever, we'll keep we'll keep our eyes open. If you're in public, you can't uh, you know, you don't have a reasonable expectation of privacy. It is a little bit different online. Uh, it's much more similar to a uh, phone call which has different legal requirements. So like it, I remember reading a book a long time ago that told me that answering machines beep because you need to alert people that they're about to be recorded. I don't know if that's actually true or not, um, but I do know that phone conversations are different. I thought I heard a tank, but I haven't seen a tank, so maybe I'm imagining things. There's a charger with this big muscly arm. So I don't feel comfortable. Oh, we probably should have run up, but we got him. Okay, he's okay. Uh, anyway, anyway, long story short, sorry I'm distracted. I play, it's hard to play a first person shooter and not definitely love to shoot items with physics. It's hard to not, well there's the tank. It's hard to not focus on the game. It's hard for me to make commentary when I'm playing a first person shooter game. Man, we really can't help that guy, huh? Yeah, that's a bummer. That guy just joined the game. Oh, I hear, oh I hear smoker, gotta move gotta move up oh, and he got me around the corner I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's BS I don't know how you got me definitely uh, no we're just gonna leave I don't want to vote to restart that's that's enough of that we'll jump into a different game play online um yeah death yeah sure death toll sounds fine oh this is the original game I really should play more of left 4 dead 2 because I think the last game we also played as the original four survivors, I really ought to, ought to pick someone else. Snow Bunny is the only name that I saw. Uh, who's the other guy? She, she's a key. Sure. All right. I remember this. This is, this is the uh, farmhouse campaign. I think we end up in a in a farmhouse at the end with uh, cornfields. Oh, you having a lot of recording issues. I'm really hoping this records okay. I mean, honestly, if you're watching this, then it then the recording worked out, so no problem for you. For me, it's really difficult because what I'll do is sit down to record and uh, record like a full episode, and then the video will die. And so all the commentary I gave, I can't like I'm not going to sit here and repeat the same commentary over and over and over and over. So I always have to come up with new things to talk about every time I record, which slows things down. Man, I hate shotguns. I really would like a rifle. Sorry I shot you, Zoe. They probably could have done without the audio for survivors shouting, 
about being shot because basically there's tons of friendly fire. Like I just shot Zoe again. Uh, oh, pretty bad leg there. Okay, hopefully that won't be an issue. Um, like every time you clip a survivor, they shout like, oh, stop shooting me, Francis, or whatever. And it's uh, definitely gets annoying. Like Lewis just did it as well because I clipped him a little bit. Just uh, real annoying. Just gonna press on. Oh, we're not gonna leave our teammate behind, I guess. So we'll wait on Lewis here. Although he doesn't seem to be doing anything. Lewis, what are you doing? Okay, well, I'm not going to stay and wait for someone who's who's not going to play the game. So we're going to move on. I will say I've been playing this a lot over the last couple of days. Most of the footage gets corrupted, but I play it anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little bit of a hiccup there. Um, it, and it's also hard when I'm playing a first person shooter to uh, pause like temporarily and like write down like what to cut out so I'm probably gonna hear a little bit of a hiccup in the recording so I've been playing a lot and one of the things that frustrates me the most about the game is that people don't cooperate and I don't really understand why you would play a four-player co-op game if you're not going to be a team player it's one of the things that frustrates me the most every game I've ever played in the history of my video gaming career little zombies. Every game I play that's a team game, there's always people who do not want to be a part of a team. And I don't know why you even play those games. Like, we would play Call of Duty back in the day. And I really liked objective-based games. So it would be like Search and Destroy, where one team will attack a objective and one team will defend against an objective. And there's only, like, one life. So if you die, you don't respawn until the end of the round. Kind of like Counter-Strike, right? And there would be people like where the enemy team has planted the bomb and your only job is to defuse the bomb and stop so that you can win the game. You have to stop them from blowing up the thing. I don't know why you're pressing up, Snow Bunny. You should not be down there when our teammates are so far behind. So we're not going to go down there. I really don't want to help them uh, because if you can't wait for your team... Okay, here we are. Okay, so we'll go down. Um, so like they would plant the bomb basically, right? Like if you're familiar with Counter-Strike, you probably, you get the idea. Uh, we'll take this shotgun, I guess. Uh, your only job is to defuse the bomb. Even if you kill the enemy team, you don't win the game. You have to defuse the bomb. And every time everybody would die and it would be like one guy left on our team who can defuse the bomb. And instead of trying to complete the team objective, he will sit in the corner of the map way over to... How did you die, Lewis? I didn't notice Lewis die. Okay. I hear a boomer, though. Oh. Okay. Um, and, like, instead of pursuing the objective, they'll just sit in a corner with a sniper rifle and be like, all right, well, we're going to let the team lose because we can't be bothered. Well, I, I definitely would take the rifle over the shotgun. I don't like that they're going back for no reason. Wish you would stick with me. So I guess we just wait for them. We're really vulnerable being here alone. I don't know why they... I don't know what they're doing. Well, Lewis respawned, but they, they didn't know that. Like, he had not respawned at the time. So just... Yep, sort of sort of expected that to happen. So we'll just... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave. Because, like, the one teammate was pushing up and one teammate was coming back. Uh, and I just didn't want to... I don't want to deal with it. Swamp fever sounds fine. Let's do... Uh, it's too swamp fever. This is not going super well. Just uh, wait on them to. Nope, we're just gonna leave because like I just I just want to play the game. Just would like to blood harvest. Oh, this is the farm one. What was the other one? It, that, the last one we were playing, it wasn't the farm one. I was wrong. That was um. I I mean I don't know what the finale for that one is. Okay, we're playing as the lovely Zoe. Oh, and we came into a tank battle, which is not great. They did set it on fire, but I have a shotgun again. Yeah, can't really... It's kind of a tight... Sit oh, uh, the tank's dead. Okay. I was going to say, it's a little tight situation for us to be shooting a shotgun through our teammates. Whoa. What was I saying? Oh, so like Call of Duty... People will ignore the objective just to sit in a corner and snipe. And it's like, why even play 
There are other game modes where you can go and snipe and it doesn't let your team down, but you're choosing to play a team game and fail to be a good teammate. Just gonna pop them over there, I guess. I don't know if they would come over from that side of the train or not. Check this little cupboard, never mind. Just throw a Molotov in there, it's fine. I don't really want to be on the wood side of the train, so we're gonna come over here where it's a little bit easier to see the enemies. Probably should have, yeah, I was gonna say, probably should have shot the propane tank initially, but just not really thinking. Not doing very well with the commentary either. I'm still out of practice. It's still been kind of a lot where I haven't been recording and my family has been a uh, really not great situation at home. Um, I've been making channel update videos where I talk about it a little bit. Um, I'm not sure how much I should share with you because I don't, people always accuse me of oversharing. People tell me that I am too open and I talk too, too honestly about things, which, which can make some people very uncomfortable. Oh, definitely want the AK. Uh, it can make some people uncomfortable. People will occasionally tell me I'm, you know, too, too open and it, and it kind of is unnerving to hear someone who's so, so open about things. Uh, personally, I like it. I like being honest with my audience and at the end of the day, it is my YouTube channel, but I don't know. There's like a argument to be made about professionalism and, and the right and wrong things to share. You know, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, they're coming down on this side. That's not great. Uh, looks like our team is pushing up. So we'll, we'll head up as well. Okay. Just, uh, yep. Not going to bother me. I'm going to make it to the bridge here. This is a nice little bottleneck. Oh no, Lewis. Try to kill the smoker. Nope. Couldn't do it. And he's a jockey as well. Great. This is going not great. We just put our back to a wall here and uh, keep popping. Man, I love the AK. It's so sad. <laughs> just Bill just stopped in front of me and took a few bullets. Uh, I love the AK, man. I love the sound. Okay, we should push up while the boomer bio is distracting them. So let's, uh, hopefully Bill follows us, but we'll keep an eye on him. Let's just uh, check on him. Can't see him. Okay. The safe room's right here. Oh, it's just the AI. I thought Bill was an actual person. Close the door on me. So rude. I love the AK, man. Just the rattling of the AK. It's pretty satisfying. Uh, plus, it's fully auto, so I can control my rate of fire, which I really like. Uh, 47 kills. I didn't do a lot to the tank, but that's because I came in kind of late. Captain Cookie and Paps with two or four uh, unviewable characters. It's great. Great. Everyone's idle, I guess, because they're, they're bots. Let me... It's real quick. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what I was talking about. I'm so distracted today. It's just been one of... Surely one of these has physics. There we go. Pot has physics. Uh, pop some... Uh, Random Zambies. Got him. Okay. I think this is the, the farm one. Well, I don't know how far we are into the match, but... Um, yeah. And that's the thing with Left 4 Dead. It seems like the, the algorithm, when you're looking for a game, it always kind of puts you in a late stage game. It seems like it never puts me in like an early just starting game. It always seems to be like the third or fourth mission. Okay, I hear, oh, see, I always, the standard zombies, sometimes they make sounds that sound like the jockey, and it kind of throws me a little bit, and I'm missing a lot of my shots. You want to go in the barn? No, we probably shouldn't. Oh, they're going on the exterior. We might get some following us. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, we're going to go on the roof. Sure. I hear the jockey. I don't see a jockey. We'll just keep picking. There he is. Hello. Let's try to save. Oh, no. I was going to melee him, but I got stuck on zombies. Now he's going to take a lot of damage. Sorry about that, Captain Cookie. Let's try to get back on the roof before they overwhelm us. Just, there we go. Yeah, sorry. Something about first-person shooters, especially cooperative <laughs> just cow corpses. Um, something about 
cooperative games, I always feel really responsible, like I have to take care of my teammates. Um, and then when I'm playing a first person game on top of that, that demands more of my attention than some of the games that we play. So like I'm finding it a little difficult to give commentary. Can we make it? Do you think I could jump to that train? Probably, right? Reloading. Shoot me in the back. Yeah, we're fine. I hear the witch, but I don't see the witch. My foot is falling asleep, which is not great. Oh, okay, just uh, a little minor vandalism. You remember that mission in uh, Payday where you would go to the mall and you'd have to smash all the windows to uh, to uh, to proceed? So there's the witch there. We're gonna wait for her to calm down a little bit because she's very agitated. Okay, she's backed off. We can probably get by without issue. We'll keep an eye on Bill. Bill might trigger her. I mean, I guess it's the AI. I don't really care that much. I guess we'll take the Magnum. Sure. Honestly, as long as I have the AK, I'm pretty content. So let's uh, press on. A lot of trains. We've definitely been following... Whoop, definitely been following the railway system here. Okay, they're on the train. I didn't see a ladder on this side. I hear the boomer. Sorry I narrate everything as well. Someone asked me in a, a video pretty recently, they said, why do you repeat everything that you hear and why do you narrate what you're doing when we can hear and see what you're doing? And I don't really have a good answer for why I do that. Um, sometimes it's because I don't know how loud the game will actually be in the recording. Um, like, obviously, I can hear what's going on in the game, but, like, with my commentary, I might need to turn the volume down so that it's a little bit more... You can hear my commentary a little bit better. Here. So I never know if it's loud enough for people to actually hear. Plus, like, sometimes people miss things, and I feel like I have to tell you, like, what is happening. So, like, I heard the boomer. I heard the boomer. Then I was like, oh, I don't know if they'd be able to hear that. It might be really quiet, so I need to announce... Hey, I heard a boomer. You know, I don't know. Oh, I remember this. There's a lawnmower in here, I think. I vaguely remember this. I don't know why. It's been 15 years probably since I really played this game. Maybe not that long. Yeah, a lawnmower. Just chunks of <laughs> clearly a defensive position. I oh, got boomered. Not great. Not great. Um. <clears throat> well, Jockey's not good. Go upstairs. I think they might have trouble jumping on you on an elevated surface like this. So my instinct was to run up the stairs. I don't even know if that's true. Oh, yeah. So it looks like uh, Bob Lee Swagger. <laughs> Isn't that the guy from Shooter? Bob Lee Swagger. That was uh, Mark. Uh, what's his name? I'm completely blanking. Marky Mark. Uh, Mark Wahlberg, wasn't that his character in Shooter? So you can see they're talking. You might see the uh, speech bubbles over their portraits or over their heads. I do have sound disabled for voiceover, but you can still see when they're doing it. So like we can still text chat if they, you know, if they, if they're like, hey, why aren't you listening? I can respond in voice chat or in text chat, excuse me. Head on down to the old train car. Kind of thought there might be like a tank in here or something, but it doesn't look like it. We Honestly, we don't even need to heal. I don't see a reason to heal. So we'll just save our kit. 47. Yeah, we're not really pulling our weight in this game. Mostly it seems fine. And my leg is falling asleep. Let me shift positions. Oh, in fact, his picture is a little Marky Mark uh, from Shooter. I like that movie, Shooter. Um, I haven't seen it in a long time, but I like sniper movies. All right. We're, of course, going to stick with the AK. See if we can Magnum. I mean, the Magnum's pretty, pretty powerful, pretty accurate. But the AK, man, it's just a thing of beauty. Such an iconic gun, the AK. It's in virtually every game that has guns in it. Uh, like any modern game. I'm not sure why he's still in the train car. But I'm not going to wait for him. 
I get really frustrated when like my teammates don't move forward. Uh, it seems to be a very common theme. Yeah, I see you guys talking. Oh, that was a fuel tank. Let's, uh, can we, there we go. I don't know if that's actually going to do anything, but I like to burn things when I have the opportunity. Let's head up here. Oh, tank music. Low tank. Honestly, just, just unload in him and it's time to bail. Oh no, the ladder. <laughs> don't get stuck on a ladder when the tank is chasing you. Um, I know that the tank can hit cars and if the car hits you, you're instantly down. I don't know if he could move these train cars or not. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. But something to keep in mind, you know, in case we bump into any other ones. I see you back there. We missed him, but all right, that's fine. Smoker. Great. Team seems to be working pretty well together. Most of them are moving at a reasonable speed, staying together, things like that. So feeling pretty good about this team. I've played a lot of games where there are just some terrible teammates, like I said. Uh, but for the most part, it's fine. Yeah, it's the cornfields. Gonna have a lot of problems down there trying to spot. Oh, I see just barely a zombie there. I think I missed every shot. Yeah, he's definitely still alive. Oh, he's in friggin' impervious to my attacks. Can we go on the... No, I don't think we can go on the tractor. We, uh, we're falling behind. We really want to stick with our team. Oh, we're stuck. That's not great. It's not great. Please stop. Please stop. I just want to... It's okay. It's okay. It's my fault. It's my fault for not, for not paying more attention to my team. Francis is really loving that shovel. Putting in a lot of shovel work. I don't really want a chainsaw. Rescue is... They already triggered the rescue. They really should have waited for us to come in there with them. Uh, but let's uh, get in here while we can. Grab the ammo. And uh, we're not going to heal. I think we'll heal as soon as we get down to 50 health or so. Uh, or if the second wave gets triggered. Because usually these take about... Man, I don't know where to go in this house to be safe. Um, like a place for us... We really need to find a position to hold. I don't really know. We'll check upstairs. Um, so usually it's two waves and like two tanks. And then uh, the rescue will come. So after the first wave, if we're injured still, we will take the time to heal. Or if we get down to like, you know, 50 health. Oh, it's not great. We're trapped in here with the jockey. Don't, don't know what... Okay. See, they broke out the wall there. I don't, I don't know. I didn't know that was possible. So I'm wondering if this whole top floor is destructible. We really need to pick a position to hold. And they're moving around a lot. Let's just... Can we... I don't know. I mean, we could camp... Yeah, we could camp the stairs here. That seems fine. So let's just, like, pick a position and hold it. No? I hear... Maybe I, yeah, I hear the hunter, but I don't know where. So let's just hole up, let's just pick a spot. I hear a smoke, oh, that's not great. Ah, it's the boomer bile all over my face. I don't know how that affects the recording, by the way. So if that's like really fuzzy when I get boomered or something, I'm sorry. Okay, I hear the smoker, a smoker. And I hear the hunt. There's the hunter. I, apparently I killed the hunter. I don't know how I did that. But I'll take it. This seems like a pretty good spot. We're really... Uh, I mean, outside of the boomer surprising us, we're, we're holding this down pretty well. Team seems pretty good. Uh, although Francis seems to be favoring that shovel. I don't really know why. Gotta pop, pop out, find where the tank is coming from. And just lay into him. I don't know if he can climb onto the roof or not. It looks like he's going to go through the house. Sorry, my throat is bothering me, but I can't really stop in the middle of uh, in the middle of this. So we're just going to keep looking for. There he is. Okay. Sorry, my throat is really bothering me. Um, we will 
if he comes out here, we'll dive off the roof. We really need to be putting more rounds into him. We're not dealing enough damage to the tank. I think if you don't kill the tank fast enough, the next wave will spawn. And you'll be kind of on your own. Uh, fighting the tank and the horde. I don't, I don't know where it's at. And it's making me nervous. Tank music stopped. Is it dead? Oh, getting real framey. Oh, 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 come on. I guess my internet died. So that's, oh, oh okay. <laughs> that, that sucked. I thought I, I thought I was uh, going to get jumped out of the game. Super glad it reconnected. I didn't know, I did not expect that. I thought it was just going to die on me. So that's cool. And we're back to our position holding the stairs here. Man, I love this game. Like, I don't know if people are going to watch me play this or not. And like I said, I feel like the commentary is not good. But like, this game is a ton of fun to play. Oh, time to move. Not great. Okay, I was going to say not great because we got separated. But Lewis came with me here. So that's good. We should be able to go back. Yeah, like I, I love this game. This game is a lot of fun to play. Let's protect Lewis here. And just get between him and the enemy in case they... Everything's fine, all right. Oh, it's a fun game. It's a fun game. If you haven't played Left 4 Dead in a long time, definitely, definitely go play it a bit. We really don't want to get jumped on. We got him. Uh, yeah, definitely if you haven't played in a while, it's worth revisiting from time to time. It's a lot of fun if you get a decent team. Oh, we got to move again. With Bill this time. Um, yeah, okay, I was gonna say, I heard the boomer. Yeah, sorry if my commentary is not better. We, um, we're not gonna play this, like, a, a whole lot on the channel. But I did want to play it again, and I thought it would be fun for a few episodes. Killed the charger. So, again, we're gonna look for the tank outside. Oh, yeah, I don't think he can get over here. And I don't think they, but he can climb the roof, apparently. So we gotta watch. Okay, he's coming up. We should uh, jump down. Really what we want is for the AI to path through the house as much as possible to slow it down and give us some breathing room. Don't know where it went, which is concerning. Oh, it's not great. We will jump off the roof again. Uh, I think we did kill it, so that is good, but we need to get back in with our team. Trucks here. Oh. Uh, that's the end, so we need to get out there with them. I don't know. Oh. I hear the truck. Oh. Oh, it's like a proper APC. That's pretty cool. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if that could crush me. You know, it's pretty cool. We actually get to get inside the APC. I like that a lot. That's neat. All right. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't remember there being like an APC in the game. You know what? We'll give him a GG. All right. Bob Lee Swagger left the game. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good match. We played multiple. The first couple that we played were bad because we ended up leaving them. But like, once we got into this game, it was pretty good. Teammates seemed pretty reasonable, pretty coherent. We posted up together at the end. It felt pretty good to to actually have people who were. Doing things. I would like to see how many infected I killed, but maybe we should just skip, like, for them. All right, I think that's it for this episode. So, everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.